Hit up fools. Big T back with another video. This one should be pretty quick. Um, just kind of an observation. I had uh, recently playing my SNES Classic Mini, uh, which I love. is a cool little, cool little device, and I'm glad that Nintendo decided to put that thing out. But I was playing um, uh, Donkey Kong Country again on it, and sometimes you know you play a video game from back in the day or you hear a piece of music from a game from back in the day it takes you right back to a moment and that's exactly what happened with me uh the minute i got to uh, the first underwater level in ducky kong country and i and i heard that music and i saw those graphics and even to this day look really good to me that look just looks pretty to me and i was just thinking like about games that I felt made me a graphics whore <laughs> at some point. Um, and uh, Donkey Kong Country was definitely one of those games with those uh, digitized graphics that it had. And uh, I thought that it was an FX chip game, but apparently it's not. Um, Rare did some amazing things with the Super Nintendo hardware, uh, which, like I said, is one of those things that got him in good graces with Nintendo. And uh, that game made me a graphic. So I remember just like, um, this is back before there were soundtracks released for video games, or at least to my knowledge as a young kid. Um, I remember just going to that level and just staying in one place and just listening to the music and just looking at the beautiful wavy blue kind of visuals and uh, I'll be showing you that stuff and th this isn't going to resonate with uh, a lot of you younger gamers who uh, didn't play these games firsthand when they came out but Donkey Kong Country pretty much blew everybody away people who didn't believe that Super Nintendo could output these types of graphics in an era where you had Sega just dropping peripheral after peripheral to enhance the visuals um, and uh, what, whatever on their Sega Genesis, you had the Sega CD and the 32X. Um, 32X, you know, it, it was hard. You were hard pressed to see a difference in a lot of the games. And um, you know, basically, a 32X maybe could have ran, maybe could have ran uh, the Kong Country, um, which is kind of embarrassing because it was supposed to be a 32-bit add-on. Um, but it wasn't really that it was kind of half-baked and say CD was more about like full motion video games, you know stuff like that, so um, So this game definitely made me a graphics whore and even on the Sega Genesis side um, Those games were so wildly different as far as quality to me. It was so weird um, That a game like last battle <laughs> which is horrible graphics horrible music and gameplay exists on the same console that output a sonic or the um, a game that I just thought was visually stunning and had great music and uh, uh, game design was a uh, contra hardcore uh, or hard corpse or however you want to pronounce it
that game is so fast and frenetic and the music is just awesome in that game and that was one of the things i loved about sega genesis over the super nintendo is that uh, many times you could listen to the game music the bgm there was an option you can go into and you could just play the music and i did that all the time in my sega genesis on certain games um uh, shinobi shadow dancer was one of them uh, shinobi 3 oh, i love that game just listen to the video game music all the time uh, and um, same thing with Contra Hardcore I would just sit back and listen to the music because the music in it is so great sound design is great in that game So those were some of the games that made me a graphics horror, especially in the 16-bit era. Um, and it continued on back when I was really into graphics and stuff. Uh, continue on to the Super, or not Super Nintendo, but the Nintendo 64, where um, I guess I'll talk about that in another video, why I prefer the visuals uh, in N64 over the PS1 and um, why it took Final Fantasy VII before I even considered buying a PlayStation 1. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. My <laughs> old school graphics horror. Do you agree with um, my assessment of these games? Because if you were there back then, those games looked great, sounded great, played great. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below as always. Thank you for watching and listening. And I'll see you folks next time. Peace out.